Hey, hey, it's ODB from OLP, and this is a look at Alan Budnick's full-size truck, also known as the, the Ducati Hauler. And what I want to do is I recently acquired this issue. It's an issue that uh, I had many years ago and for whatever reason had been misplaced. But May 1998, so 25 years ago this past May, this amazing creation basically graces the cover of Sport Truck Magazine, although there's a lot of other coverage of it. What I'm going to do is show you the feature here, then I'll show you some additional content that I've collected over the years in terms of the media exposure um, on this truck. So you can see here, pushing the envelope, page 96, again, Sport Truck. Now, um, we always give credit, Wes Allison shot this truck and there's some additional footage that I'm going to show you, um, which I have acquired through Steve Nielsen. Now, if you guys follow us on Instagram and Facebook, you may recall I've shared video of this truck back in the day and I'll wind the video down with that exclusive coverage. Um, now this truck, believe it or not, you would think, well, wow, 25 years ago, what happened to it? The truck has very low miles. I know he went on OBS talk and he talked about that. I think it was like 11,000 miles that were on this truck. It did surface again. Uh, if you had a chance to go to the Grand National Roadster show, I believe this past February or January, February, it um, it did surface there. So they had they kind of paid homage to trucks. But this is pushing the envelope, which we saw in the table of contents. Budnick's Evolutionary CK Ducati Hauler. And I'll kind of just take a look here in case you need or in case you want any information on this feature, you can always bump this up to 4K or pause it as you need to. A lot of work went in this truck. And if you think about it, it was really, truly pushing the envelope in that era. Uh, certainly, it was really, I, I, I think in many ways, it was a game changer. And this is one of the crazy things about it. It had these, I guess you'll call them pop-up headlight covers which I thought was pretty insane. You can see there Alan Budnick of Huntington Beach, California. And you can see how tight the gaps are there. The taillights are highly modified 97S10 taillights. So it's pretty cool. Um, but again, I'll show you, you know, as, as I put things together, um, whether it be to tell a story or to do an episode or whatever, um, I kind of collect as much as I can on a truck like this. And this one, obviously, just being kind of a fan favorite over the years uh, is one that I've kind of collected a good amount of information on. And I'll show that to you here in just a moment. What do you guys think of this truck? Was it a game changer? Did they outdo themselves with this build? Now, I'll also show you in the, um, the photos I have from Grand National Roadster Show this year. I'll show you what it looks like, and I'll ask, do you like these wheels better or the wheels that are on it as of this past February? I think you guys will know where my mindset is at. I also have some cool photos I'll show you that uh, show the full interior. So this, you know, feature, obviously, sport truck, they kind of had, you know, you could see there that, that main spread, but, you know, not all their photos were color, and they didn't have a ton of photos for all their features, even with a high-end truck like this. So what do you guys think so far? Leave a comment, consider, consider subscribing. Don't go anywhere now. We're going to jump over. I'll show you a few more things and then we'll look at the video from Steve Nielsen back in the day. That front end though. Shout out to Wes Allison for shooting this one. All right, let's take a look at Budnick's Ducati hauler. So I just did the intro, and I'm going to try this for the first time on this channel where I'm doing the insert video here so you can actually see me talking. And don't forget to subscribe, as I mentioned earlier in the video, and also please leave a comment. Now, in addition to leaving a comment, if there's anything that you see that I didn't cover, if you know of another magazine, another feature, what have you, please certainly comment below because I'd love to kind of go dig in and find if there's any other media out there so 
to be clear, Sport Truck May 98, as I covered a few minutes ago, as well as Hot Rod Magazine October 98. So we'll look at that and more. So this truck got a ton of exposure. And I think if it was finished today, you know, obviously with social media and things like that, it would get even more. But if you think back to the 90s, this truck was at SEMA 97, if I remember correctly, doing my research. Uh, it also appeared in uh, vintage, uh, or excuse, well, now it's vintage, but this Budnick uh, catalog. So this is courtesy of Vintage Wheel Catalog's website. So if you've ever done any research and you've Googled old school wheels, um, I, like many of you, probably, we, we had a ton of these catalogs, but this vintage wheel catalogs.com has a ton of great stuff. So you could see it here. And then this uh, screenshot here is from Budnick's website. So shout out to Alan Budnick. I know they've been in the business a long time. Uh, here you see where they mentioned back in the 90s, SEMA, Sport Truck Magazine cover. It kind of gives a high level, even some of the things that we're talking about now. But you could just see how iconic this truck looked i mean this image right here you look at and just go wow the freaking awesome now yada yada yellow was the title for this issue of hot rod magazine so uh, up here it does say street machine and it's pages i think this is 92 93 uh these uh, are scanned together and basically what you're seeing is another feature so you got to keep in mind that although it came out Earlier in the year in Sport Truck, you would have publications that were still willing to run it, obviously, rightfully so, and this is what you see here. So maybe some of you haven't seen this feature before, but that's what it is, and that's the cover if you're looking to purchase this issue. Now, some of these miscellaneous photos I've compiled over the course of time, these are from drivingline.com. And if you happen to do just a Google search of Alan Budnick or Budnick, Chevy OBS, you will bring back most of these images, most of them. Now, this was at the Grand National Roadster Show earlier this year in 2023. They paid homage to the truck segment of the automotive world. And I know many RA members were out there. You can see here uh, Joe's Suburban and you see Alan Budnick's uh, per by the way, perfectly positioned, red and yellow next to each other. I think that is just straight fire. Now, the majority of these photos, the ones I'm aware of, Wes Allison took. So if I know who took the photos, I will mention that. In some of these examples, I do not know who did this indoor photo shoot. I assume it was Wes, but certainly Alan and the Bundick family may have hired whoever to do these but again, you can just see here the hood cow. Uh, you see the custom interior, you know, very hot rod themed. Uh, this front end was just always insane and uh, love the grill. Uh, just the headlights, the pop-up headlights, the billet. Just a great use of an OBS truck, in my opinion. Now, some of these photos you guys have seen in the past, there's the Ducati. I recall a classified when they were looking to sell this truck that the Ducati had something like 3,636 miles, which was kind of ironic. The truck is very low miles. I mentioned earlier, I think OBS Talk, when Ronnie had Alan on, or Mr. Budnick, he talked about the truck having, I believe, 11,000 miles, which is just insanity. They talked about, and you saw in the feature, kind of the S10 tie-in to the taillights, so that's kind of the the mini uh, tie-in there, which was kind of cool, but the gapping is just, to me, is, is amazing. I love how they sunk in the plate as well, kind of French the way it is, very hot rod themed. There's a few other photos here from the hot rod feature, and um, these can be found on Motor Trend. As you know, over the course of time, Motor Trend has acquired, uh, or I think even going back to you know McMullen Publishing and all that, over the course of time, that has uh, snowballed into what, what we know Motor Trend to be today. And then this is another interior shot. Of course, with it being the, uh, um, the earlier OBS, that's when you basically have the older style dash. You can see some of the custom work here with the speaker pods. And just even classic by today's standard, a lot of people would be 
doing their best to get to this kind of level. And you can see, obviously, it was achieved in the past. This is a photo from SoCal Custom. Shout out to Brian. I know he's kind of sunsetted his website, but there's a lot of good content out there. And you can see the difference in the wheels um, and what used to be on there versus what's on there. As you can imagine, if you own a wheel company, you could switch this stuff up every day if you wanted to. But they went with something a little bit more, I guess you could say modern, but uh, timeless definitely is the word that comes to mind when I think of the old setup. That's really the only thing I believe that's been changed. Uh, you can see here again a few more photos and the Ducati in the back. The Ducati, my understanding, when this truck, unless it was a scam ad in the past, if and when it was for sale, they did mention the Ducati was going to come with it as well. And then here is just another non-high resolution photo. But again, these are some that I've collected over the course of time. You can see the headlight deals are down here. Now here's a few additional photos. Uh, these were a little bit tougher to find and I had to go kind of digging in my archives. Now I apologize, I do not know who shot all of these, but you can see this is a very cool uh, photo here next to an Indy car. This is, I believe I saved when this truck was for sale. I don't know if it still is, but you can see here exclusive Budnick's new Chevy, May 98. That was the cover that I just showed you guys. But this is the plaque in the news plaque pretty certain because this is their style ironically enough in the news is was uh, very close to where I live probably 15 to 20 minutes with no drive or with no uh, traffic uh, they've since kind of rebranded with one of their former employees but that is an in the news plaque for sure and so many of those plaques came from right by where I live okay so what did I do here I didn't uh, my apologies here let me delete this real quick no worries. Okay, so kind of putting this together for this presentation, if you will, um, the thing that I wanted to reinforce is that you'll see here rear, th rear three quarter shot, more kind of in the wild photo versus maybe a studio. You see this piece here underneath. Again, a lot of work went into this. Uh, Budnick one, of course, on the license plate. Now, this photo, I don't recall where this was originally shown. I believe this is part of the West Allison photo. Uh, uh, you know, shoot, and uh, you could just see. I mean, to me, this is a classic photo. If this isn't framed somewhere, certainly it should be. And um, I had to go digging for this because I couldn't remember where I saved it. Now I've got them all together. Here's an interior shot. There's a, a photo of the Ducati. This does look like something that was on the wall, so probably a nice, you know, in their um, facility. So that's kind of all that I have in terms of this truck. Now, if you think about again, SEMA 97 all the way now 26 years later and then on the cover may 98 boom we passed that 25th anniversary just truly an amazing truck before i talk about um episode 211 an old school episode of the podcast and show you some more video i just want to again bask in this awesome amazing truck for a moment truly amazing so if anybody from that team budnick happens to see this definitely two thumbs up and it was great that it made it back out this year. I certainly loved seeing that through social media. Now, I wanted to make it to the Grand National Roadster Show this, this year in 2023, but I just wasn't able to. Now, uh, before we roll into the footage that Steve Nielsen shot at Caltruck Jam 98, um, I do want to just let you know that if you get a chance and you Google, and I'll put a link in the description to Podbean, if you get a chance... Check out this episode, this audio, uh, episode 211, excuse me, with Bill Hancock. And he talks about, I, I dubbed it as Bill Hancock and Bill at Wheel History. Because, as you know, with so many companies spun off of Boyd Connington, right? Hot Rods by Boyd, which we know it as today. But um, certainly appreciate Bill coming on. Many names in the wheel industry, especially the Bill at Wheel industry in particular, uh, come up during this interview, and it is awesome uh, to see how much uh, goes right back to Boyd, rest in peace. So, with that being said, what do you guys think? Is there any other media that I could be missing, maybe an obscure magazine feature that I just did not cover, truly one of a kind? Now, as I promised, we're going to roll into a short clip that Steve Nielsen, at the time, Alter Images, took at Cal Truck Jam back in the day. 
and you'll get a chance to see and hear the original audio from this. I think for the first time, first time I'm sharing the original audio, maybe. And thank you again. Stay on the rise, everyone. Peace. <laughs> They're out of an S10. This is um, Bugnick, the owner of Bugnick's truck. Got a Ducati in the back. The best thing about this truck is the um, is the body mods on the front grill. If I get around to it, if you look at um, how they wrapped it around onto the fender, really classy, really classy. They made the billy grills; they pop up. Did something funky happen with the? The front or something like that? Yeah, the the, um, the headlights pop up and they come, um, come oh, out behind the billet is. grill. Yeah. That's like the most impressive thing about it. Okay, now I'm in the inside of the truck. I'm going to try to zoom in so you guys can see actually how much miles this truck has. This truck is a 94. It has 241 miles on it. It is brand new.